Hi, John. Hey there. Did you attend OCP Tech Week last week? Not, I just did our uh, our session, me, me and uh, Joe's. Ah. So that was oh, yeah. the extent of it, unfortunately. I think we had some other HPE guys attending more than that though. Yeah, yeah, I know Jeff Otto was everywhere. Yeah, okay, good. Good, I'm, I'm, I'm logging some issues on the profile va validator after having consulted with him. We have these things where, you know, we say um, if, it's a, if it's a chassis and the chassis type is either rack or rack group, we mm -hmm. want a location object. Mm -hmm. And then the, the validator comes back and say, hey, I found this uh, server who has a rack, a chassis as a rack mount, and there is no location and it, it fails it. So there is an issue there, I think. Oh, okay, okay. So semantics are correct in the profile. It's a validator, which isn't. As far as me secret. and Jeff can understand, it is. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna dump the, all the profiles uh, and mark them with draft into the repo soon because I think uh, we're getting to a point where they, at least, they should be debated uh, mm -hmm. by, by the community. So I'll, I'll do that today. <clears throat> Let's see. This should go. Are we early? I guess we are. A little bit. Cause just next week it's probably gonna be canceled, do you think? Nobody will I mean I will work, but a lot of people take off. I got nowhere to go. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I have the same situation. Where are you based? California. Uh, Sacramento. Boston. Sacramento, okay. Yeah. But I, I guess all California is purple now, so. Yeah. Barath is here. I know Martin would join. I haven't seen any uh, declines from Bob. Morning, all. This is Joe's from AMI. Hey, Joe's. Hey, hey Joe's. Good morning, all. This is Mutu from AMI. Hey, Mutu. Still morning. waiting for some people to drop in here. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hey. I always forget to change myself to HPE. So Martin, uh, I asked you, did you want to give an update on that on those changes to the uh, the messages, or or in that case we can put that on the agenda? Um, yeah, can do. Let me take two minutes. I mean, you took away the whole table, didn't you? I did. Yeah. It was a little bit out of date. Some surgery there. Let me work on that then. Uh, to get to it, and I don't know if Alex is joining. I, I just wanted to go through the outreach as well. Outreaches we've done, and what what is planned for, and if we need to plan something more. Okay, 
guess ping I'll ping Alex here. I I just did. Oh, you did. Okay, good. Yep. He says yes. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> uh, so so he will be joining. You didn't yeah, ask. He's, will he's you running skip? Two minutes, he's running two minutes late. No. Okay, I yeah, know. issues. just give it some time down. Hi right, guys. Yep. No worries. Uh, we're just getting started. So let me. Just, uh, check who's here and log that. Okay. So let me see if I can share my screen for the proposed agenda. Uh, screen share desktop that works am I sharing no no I'm not okay it's, it's still asking me again here okay share am I sharing yes okay good uh, let's drag that off so just an update from the proposal meetings, uh, and we, we are still potentially moving that slot um, because I didn't give a lot of answers on the, the poll, but uh, so that's pending. Outreach, I, th I was thinking, Alex, we could go through your page there and see what we need to update and, and uh, yeah. perhaps if there is something we need to uh, try to get into. Release management process. Uh, we, I'm just going to give a short uh, update on that one, very short. Update on contributions. I was thinking if, if Rafal has joined, if not, we can perhaps skip that one. Oh, he's here. I see him. And we have some contributions from HPE as well that we could, uh, we can just, uh, Barat is here, so perhaps we can, we can give an update. Uh, then next, just a decision on next week's meeting. And actually, to be honest, we'll, let's, uh, bump up Martin's network related events uh, instead. So we do it like this. Oh, uh, anything else that somebody wants to add to the agenda that we have missed? Uh, next week's meeting, uh, we should consider canceling it given that it's Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's what I have here. We can start with that. Uh, should, we, should we cancel next week's meeting, you think? I would because I think sure. we're, we're going to be a we Europeans are you know also where you need to have, celebrate your holidays. Yeah, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll celebrate too. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah, let's cancel. I mean, I, I actually work. It's Wednesday. Thanksgiving is on on Thursday, but a lot of people take the whole week off. So yeah, I won't be I won't be here next week anyway. So. <sighs> okay. Uh, so bonus, I need to yep. uh, have one more uh, agenda item on the composition service uh, and the integration with the Odim uh, other services like uh, the kind of task service and uh, how to get uh, like uh, system resources for the, the resource blocks and other things. If we yeah. find time, we can discuss or we can uh, discuss it on the next like proposal meeting on that. Yeah, so so I think we we just gener generally we we probably will have these those type of discussion and proposal meeting doesn't mean that we couldn't have it here as well. Or if, if it's urgent, we could set something up uh, se separately from from the standard meetings. Mosu, I yeah, uh, yeah, I understand that. It's not very uh, like urgent for, for, for better understanding of, from our side. I'm just bringing this up, uh, but uh, we can handle it in the other meeting as well. Yeah, uh, we can definitely, because there are some changes there as far as, um, uh, yeah, I, I were you in the proposal meeting yesterday? Yeah, yeah, I joined. Yeah. 
Yeah, so so we we yeah, so there are some changes there. So let's see if we can get to it. But uh for now then um anything else? I added it here. Uh, yeah, thank you. If nothing else, I'm going to just update this one and then stop sharing for now. Um and then just an update from the proposal meeting then. Yeah. Uh okay, actually I I do want to share that because I want to tell you guys what the heck where to find that stuff. So the proposal meetings obviously are also here, right? So we had a proposal meeting yesterday and I haven't actually updated anything there yet. Uh, so I'm, that's still on me to do. We, I, 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 I need to get the recording. I, um, and Lewis is here, but I think I, I typically get that the day after or something, and I can update it. But but just to look at the proposals, then uh, we did have uh, we did actually do quite a bit of work as far as the proposal page. You see now that the composition service is pending. There will be a new proposal coming in from uh, AMI. The biggest concern we had was that it's it's RSD based. And we want it to be uh, based on the Redfish spec, rather. And then, uh, so so that was one thing. The BMC simulator was already approved earlier, so I just changed that one. Dell server community plugin was approved. Um, we don't know who's going to actually grab it, but we want this thing to, I think, I think the best approach, like we were mentioning here, is to start with a generic Redfish plugin and, and create a separate branch and then see what we can map. It would be good if we can get uh, pretty good functionality there because that would allow us to enter into POCs and stuff with with customers that have multi-vendor situations, right? The Cisco APIC control plugin, um, there I think what we decided is that there will be, we need some more information. Even though we have a Fabric plugin from HPE already that is proprietary, we should have some more documentation for TSC before they can sort of understand this enough to take a decision. So, so Martin would come back with some more documentation describing the, the mapping between Redfish Fabric uh, properties uh, and, and how, how that will map into some of the APIC control plugins properties then. Uh, so that's basically the update I had. Uh, and obviously, the proposal meetings will drive some of the technical discussions and not only proposals. So it's important that we get this in a good slot. And today, it's not in a good slot. Um, so I know I did send out um, a poll, a doodle poll request, but only to TSC members because they have the voting power. But just get, asking this. Uh, group here is there any any specific day at least that that is better for you guys than other days uh, i mean i i've been looking at fridays as well the issue there is obviously that as we go into the early afternoon uh we are it's it's very late evening or middle of the night in 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 india and and those places and and very late in the afternoon uh, for or e evening for europe so we we're gonna Fridays we're gonna have to be in the morning for the US, right? Early morning. So we'll take go ahead, Martin. Yeah. I don't know who was speaking? No, I thought that was John actually. But sorry. Yeah, John doesn't. John, you expressed before this is not a good slot. What is a good slot for you? <laughs> so I can. Well, can we still bring up the doodle poll and can we get people to update it? I mean, it might be. Yeah, I have two replies now. I have from you, Alex, and I have from uh, Rafael. So maybe, John, can you update the list of proposed times and see what. I didn't add John. I just added yeah. TSC members. I can, I can send it out to the list. Should I send it out to the list? Add the list as one instead? Sure. But then the, the, how does that work? Freaking Doodle is also a little bit difficult because I have to pay to get any type of functionality. 
Uh, no, you don't. It's we, free. I mean, yeah, you free. It's free forever. Yeah, but if I want to see all the participants, I have to pay. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yeah. Uh, right. I'll, I'll send you instructions. It's it's a it's a right click on the top right, which is go set up a meeting. That's it. Yeah, I've done it. I've done it. Right. Okay. Well, we can uh, take this offline, but you can you can see everyone who does it. So basically, we need AMI and Tieto to chime in with their availability for, uh, for the proposals review. Um, you see this now, right? Click on TSC proposal review. Uh, okay, so if I want to see everybody, I have to unlock it with premium. That's interesting. I never had to do that before. Yeah. Okay. It's it's really clamped down. I don't know if because I just signed up, and we have all those annoying commercials. Now they happen to be from HPE, but there is also some. I don't know some sites that I perhaps don't. I don't. I mean, I'm worried even about sharing this stuff sometimes. Actually, <laughs> so I don't know. Mm. If you have any tricks there, I'm I'm eager. Just adding people. I mean, I can I can plus add people. Oh wait right? a minute! But, All these times are displayed in Denver. Well, that's for me. Oh okay. Because right. I I happen to live in that time zone, right? Right, 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 right. Okay. If anybody else has a has a better, perhaps Doodle uh, earlier had a better account. It may be. They be, may be trying to make money now. <laughs> yeah, just like uh, Mike, uh, Go Micro. <laughs> That's a different discussion. We get to that, but yeah. Uh, so uh, Alex, uh, do you want to do a Doodle poll instead, or? I mean, I think we, we fundamentally, we need uh, Daniel or Martin uh, to chime in and we need the guys from AMI to chime in. Yeah, so for my side, Daniel, uh, the time we have now is not good for me, but Martin was able to join. So I, I think the, the rest of the times are okay with me. Uh, and, and I think it's enough that one of us joins. We're talking about the proposals review meeting, which will yes. probably morph yeah. into the architecture. Uh, meeting yes. in general. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Agree. For yesterday. So uh, we, I have answers from Intel, two people. And then, um, uh, yeah, from the rest of you, if you could reply. It, it's, it, it's essential that we get enough TSC members to be able to have quorum. But um, then uh, after we have that, we also want to get input from the others because a lot of those meetings will be discussions. Very few minutes out of the 60, we will do votes, right? Uh, the discussions is what is important, I think. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm thinking perhaps we should send it out on the mailing list and have people just... But the, I don't think you can vote if, if I send it out on the mailing list, right? Because then that will be uh, the participant that can vote. The, the the guy with that email ID, which is the TSC mailing list. So that probably doesn't work either. You know, we ultimately can do this, Jonas. Uh, we can send it out to everybody and people can chime in, uh, but we will prioritize for the TSC members because they have to vote. And so that's kind of how we'll do it. You know, I think that's pretty fair. So if others want to attend, they can kind of chime in and say, well, if I'm able, you know, these would be the times, and then we can look at the five, uh, the five voting members, and say, okay, at the end of the day, if we if we have to break, you know, a conflict or whatever, or you know, we'll we'll do it in favor of the uh, the five companies. So just an email on the mailing list, then? Yeah, I think so. I think that would work. Okay. <coughs> Time to the mailing list. Okay. Good. Um, so I, I had a quick question on on the Dell plugin and the outreach. So has anyone from this team tried to reach out to Dell on this topic and um, as part of the outreach, or is that something we? we I think we discussed yeah. it, and I, I think that maybe it's hard for you guys to do. So I, I can 
volunteer if, if, if that's something. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Please do. No, and there has yeah. been quite a bit of discussions as far as we try to reach out via uh, common uh, initiatives that we are working on, like, mm -hmm. you know, the MTF and others. Yeah. And there has been, um, th 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 and I also think that other partners in, in, this, um, in this project have tried to talk to, to Dell. HPE doesn't have a, a direct, uh, you know, public relationship, so so it's more difficult for us. But this mm. is not at all trying to let's let's get a Dell plug-in in here without telling them. If they no. if they would join, nobody would be happier than than me. Or I yeah. mean, I, I guess all of us will be very happy if they. Would I join. think um, just to kind of add to what Jonas is saying, the um, you know we've we've had direct communication with Dell. We've tried to get them to uh, to come to this forum. Um, they've got some executive level objections. Um, so. Mm, okay. They're kinda, so it's not really that they have no interest. I think the technical people might actually be okay with this, but uh, I think at the executive level, they've got some problems with this. So it may take some time to sort that out and just kind of figure out what the anxiety is all about. Mm. Yep. Uh, so Alex, do you wanna drive the outreach page? Or well, um, yeah, we can do that. Um, you created it, and there are some nice check boxes there. So I was thinking we could check them off or remove. Right. Them. So let me. Do you want to display it, or do you want me to display it? How do you want to? Yeah, do it? rather if you could do it, then I can take notes at the same time. Otherwise, okay, I'll just have to. Yeah. Fine. Let's do that. Let me share that screen. Uh, now I forget what I have to be able to do. Do I share a screen and then choose what I share? I share the whole screen, but you might have some more options because you're probably running Windows. I'm not. I'm running a Mac and here it is. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, so let me, oh, I don't think we need to edit. Well, perhaps we um, do. Perhaps we need to check some. Oh, you can check it even if yeah. you, oh, cool. So let me first check the ones that we've uh, done outreach in. Um, so if everyone can see all the checked ones are the outreach uh, meetings that we've had. Um, there, what's what's open, um, and I think we kind of duplicated this here, but that's okay. I think we're good. Um, we have not spoken to CNCF yet, uh, not neither to or Open RMC or an Open Edge, um, and then also Open BMC. Those are the the projects that um, um, we still have to you know reach out to. Uh, before we do, however. Um, at least my perception is that, you know, given all the discussions we've had um, directly and directly, you know, through, you know, one on one executive level interactions, you know, reach out, you know, by different companies. Um, there seems to be some lack of interest and, uh, and I think we kind of need to potentially adjust our messaging. Um, so my sense is that before we go to CNCF, before we go to these other projects, we should really revisit the slide deck that we have for the community and really try to hone in on the benefits to the benefits of membership from a, from a go-to-market perspective, from a business perspective. Not so much uh, just, you know, from the technical kind of view of, oh, we can abstract all this away and life will be so much easier. But we need to kind of put this all in the in a, in a, in a dollars and cents or euros and cents or whatever and cents kind of uh, uh, perspective so that companies actually understand why they would want to join at the end of the day, right? Because everyone, especially some of these open source projects that we have we have pending sort of meetings with they are typically you know overworked and um and they choose how they collaborate and who they collaborate with uh based on on you know the value proposition and the potential benefit to them and that's what we need to do i think we need to um 
take the latest version of our, you know, kind of community at a glance deck and see if we can, um, if we can add some, some slides that basically say, here's the, the value to the hardware suppliers, the value to the Mano uh, companies, the value to, you know, service integrators or system integrators, the value to, you know, all these different community members that we would like to, um, we would like, you know, to, to participate. Um, I, I think you're right. And I think also some of these we can hit again once we have, uh, let's yes. say we get the rack, uh, the, the BMC emulator and we get an actual build and we have a little demo uh, yeah. that they can actually see, right? Uh, yeah. So um, one thing we still need to do and publish is the roadmap, right? And the release schedule. We've kind of said in general that we want to do releases, you know, you know, six months apart or four or whatever it is. I, I forget. Yeah. I look at the notes. It, it was six, but and we are working on that. But I think we can at least we can publish saying that you know the first release is end of January. And yeah, and, if we can uh, publish some dates, uh, then I think uh, that also kind of creates a sense of momentum and all that. Uh, but but mostly. Um, what we really need to do is, I think, just kind of um, review the messaging and review, you know, the, the 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 script, if you will, for how we talk to different companies and different communities. So, when you say they're not interested, I, I guess. Um... Uh, there well, are some so, you know, after, after, you know, talking to all these different companies, personally, at least, um, huh. um, you know, no one has said, yes, we want in. Oh, you I mean think, like that? Because I'm thinking yeah. when you approach OCP, for instance, obviously, there are two reasons there. There is that, yeah, if we can make people interested and they want to join, but there is also um, the opening the door for some collaboration and i think as far as ocp it's up to us now we know that we need to engage with the hardware uh, working group uh, to work on on some profile collaboration so there i think um, yeah. if you just look at uh, could, did we actually uh, did we actually enable some collaboration i think we we haven't really failed there yet at least right no i think there's a little bit of a chicken and an egg so let me kind of tease this apart right so i think when we when we did the webinars for the companies and we did follow up sessions um, with those companies um, um, there was you know varying degrees of of interest but ultimately um, the 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 question would come up, what's the uptake of all this, right? It's a bit of a chicken and an egg problem because the same question, for example, was asked in the OCP meeting. What's the uptake of this? Um, and, you know, you can't have uptake without companies participating, but if the companies won't participate because there's no uptake, it's kind of it's kind of crazy, right? So I think that's really the situation we're in. And we need to break that, you know, that that sort of vicious cycle there, and um, figure out a way to to um, to get more participation, uh, uptake or not. Um, and for that to happen, I think we kind of need to really um, articulate the value of of driving this forward, you know, even though it's in a nascent state. Um, that's kind of how yeah. I, it. I I, I, I agree. Say, I would say that, for example, CNTT, well, we now have regular meetings um, with CNTT talking about reference model and, you know, the use of Redfish APIs as part of that, you know, for the, for the, uh, for the reference points having to do with hardware infrastructure management. Um, that is, is actually, a, I think, will bear fruit and, and you know, mutual endorsements. Um, OCP, it's on us. Um, you know, obviously. Well, what, what, what do you think about DMTF, though? Because they're okay. So I understood from from some of the HPE guys that it's very common that you don't get a lot of reaction for these type of. Yeah, well, DMTF is a given, right? I mean, we are basically proclaimed that we would adhere to the specifications and kind of run forward with the spec, um, and and you know provide feedback based on on the work that we're doing. There's some, John probably can say this better than I, there's some, you know, 
some some governance around you know being able to adhere to feedback from any one implementation of Redfish. But you know, we as community members can then also you know propose changes to the spec and whatnot in a way that would benefit you know Odom as a whole. So I think we're okay on the DMTF side. I mean, there oh, wasn't yeah. much to yeah. say other than, well, good job, guys. You were going to adhere to Redfish, right? I think um, I think uh, if you look at the list of potential enhancements that you know we produced at Intel, if you actually start talking about those concretely or some of them concretely, I think that may may result in more in more discussion but you know an overview that we did i think was okay nobody said no you shouldn't be doing this and and you know it, it was an fyi and i thought it was okay yep agreed now the cncf one in particular is interesting because um when uh and i don't know if sebastian is here but when he approached uh cncf telecom working group um, and he had some conversations one of the questions that came up was should cncf form a special interest group focused on hardware infrastructure management and um and so that that could actually be a very concrete thing that we 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 propose if um, you know so to kind of solidify the relationship between the two organizations. Um, but, uh, have you guys decided what your metric for success is? Because there is this like uh, relationship with other standards organizations, but I thought the real metric was how many people join this this open yeah, source i think i think you're right uh, obviously but but the thing here is um we, we it, it it's like it's like alex say it's a chicken and egg thing if we can get an operator in i think that would drive a lot of interest if we can get a naps that would also be very good uh we certainly need to get another hardware vendor but i think they're holding their breath thinking they they might get away with not joining <laughs> <laughs> and that's, it's that's, a poker uh, game, right? you know, everybody's kind of saying, what's, you know, what's Supermicro going to do? What's, what's Lenovo going to do? What, you know, what's Dell going to do? What, you know, this is how it, it, it feels. <laughs> right. And you won't get someone moving in until they make the decision that there's something in here for me that I can. Right. Which is why I think we need to be very, very deliberate and right. intentional. In, in how we articulate that value of joining, right? And because maybe, I think you have a technical vision, you may not have a business vision. That's what I mean, right? That's what I said before. Yeah. Right, right. No, no, I agree. Yeah. 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 When you how do we get there, Alex? Uh, do, do we set up a separate meeting to work on the presentation or do you want to drive it in TSC like on Wednesdays? Or what well, you I mean, we, we can have death by a thousand meetings and we're having trouble getting people, you know, responding to one doodle poll. Um, so maybe what we can do is kind of publish um, the current version that we've created, the one where we actually removed all the formation related materials and really said we're off and running and this is what we're doing. And we can look at that, reserve some time you know, after Thanksgiving to look at, um, um, to look at that deck and, and propose some changes and maybe collectively folks can provide those. We can edit those in and make them available. Do we need a deck for more technical people and one for, uh, you know, like uh, executives that need? Yeah, we may need to do that. But my concern with the technical deck is if, if what we do is articulate what's there today and how it works today, that may create a view of the world that's not exactly um, um palatable for some companies, right? Because, and, and we've even kind of hit this issue with, uh, AMI's contribution uh, review for um, for composition, right? You know, and so I think we need a technical deck, but typically we need to sort of articulate what is our you know objective is, you know, what what's the desired end state, and then 
and then show how we move forward that state, um, towards that state rather. Um, I think, you know, saying this is how it is now, well, okay, great, but, you know, uh, we already see some issues with how it is today. So maybe for now we keep things as a single deck, but I think what we need to do, and this is why I said the proposal meeting should really just be an architecture review committee or something along those lines, but we really need to kind of agree and nail down, for example, some of the stuff we talked about yesterday uh, or, you know, yeah, yesterday. Um, when we said that we need, you know, this model driven integration or we have this API gateway and, and, you know, there's a certain behavior that we would like to see in terms of pluggability and subsetting and substitution and then, you know, you know, self-contained services and all of that, I think, needs to be spelled out first and agreed upon, then we can turn it into slides. That's not very difficult to do. And I think we're on the way. It's not like we haven't started. We've we'll spent two meetings discussing some really good issues. So we just need to reach closure on some of them and then um, produce the next rev of the architectural diagram that reflects those changes and reflects that sort of, you know, functional kind of uh, diagram of how Odin would work, right? All right, so that's on the outreach. Uh, so do you think that we should, we, we will do that. We will need to change the deck before we approach any of yeah, the one, one other thing I wanna, what Daniel said, I just wanna kind of reflect on that a little bit. I think we have a wish list of companies um, that we've been kicking around, you know, between different members um, of who we would want to see as part of this community if, um, if um, if things were ideal, right? And so perhaps publishing that list here, and you know having folks from you know from from the rest of the companies kind of you know from every company kind of you know knocking on doors and saying hey you should join you should join that may create some some uh, some momentum as well. So maybe we just need to add another column here that says it's not just open source and standards orgs or industry events, it's really about um, um, uh, also outreach to to kind of key operators and, you know, yeah. key numbers of, uh, you know, of potential members of community that we need to have here in order to have success. So I think I think we're at kind of in a deadlock right now. Uh, and I, I agree if by spelling out what we're looking for, what companies we were looking for, that's, that's a good approach. I also think that what we ran into in some of the uh, uh, proof of concept type of situations is the lack of multi-hardware type of things. I think we're addressing yes. that with the Dell plugin. And if we can get those, those POCs going, hopefully these, these customers might, might ask around and see why are you not joining and, and these type of things. And, and that well, could potentially... I yeah, I, I agree. And to, to say more on that, so the project that we're trying to initiate with Airship and, and AT&T and trying to kind of uh, drive the use of Odom as a way of kind of, you know, abstracting away the hardware differences and, and creating a plugin for Metal Cube than for uh, standalone Ironic. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's the kind of stuff we need to be doing because, you know, if companies like AT&T then say, look, um, this is how it needs to be, uh, then, you know, that's the ultimate pull, right? You know, when a customer says to a vendor of one sort or another or a supplier, this is what I need you to do if you want to get, you know, you know, if you want to do business with us, I think that hits home harder than anything else in, exactly. in the world. Okay, I, I, what actions did come out of this outreach discussion then? Uh, updated, updated deck. Uh, what I'll do is I'll publish version 21 of the slides and then the objective would be to allocate some time in the next meeting uh, to discuss the you know, potential changes to that slide. Yeah, 
Okay, very good. Cool. So anything else on this one from anybody? Otherwise, I will just want to give a short update on release management, uh, just what to expect. Uh, we actually, Susan started working on a, a document uh, outlining the first release being January, end of January, having two major releases every year, two maintenance releases, and just uh, some details on how we work that, right? Because it, it goes into things like branching models as well. We certainly don't want to put a, f a feature freeze on the development branch, right? So we need to have a release branch of some sort. It wasn't quite ready, the proposal today, um, and, and it would be ready for next week, but we're skipping that. But between now and the next TSC meeting, uh, we have a release management page. I, I, I don't know if Alex created that. Somebody created it. I did. And, uh, okay, good. The, Are we going to... Go ahead. Sorry. No, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just uh, uh, mark that with proposal in 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 big letters, yeah. and then uh, dump in the proposal. And then for the TSC meeting, we could perhaps discuss around that proposal and make changes to it, so everybody's fine with it, right? Yeah. That's all I had on that. Yeah, Any, I think um, what David also presented, and hopefully this is what Susan is kind of articulating in the document, but there are different phases in terms of, um, you know, kind of design reviews and... and yeah, so we, we and, and, and you, we should all get it, be able to get input to this, but we, we actually trimmed down that module quite a bit. Um, okay. And, and the reason is, uh, I think we should look at that model. So when we get a lot of sub-projects in ODEM, we, we are ready to, to scale up. Uh, but I don't think we necessarily need to have all those um, overlays uh, when we, we don't have sub-projects. So it's, it's a slimmed down version of that, Alex. Uh, that the proposal, the, it's just a proposal. We can change it in any direction, of course. But, uh, sure, sure. No, and I didn't, I didn't expect to see the full proposal um that they have an own app or whatever because that's a much larger project yeah i i, I would have expected that it would be trimmer yeah so I'll, I'll just queue that up for the next um tsc meeting so we which is the week after next week then uh, okay so that's all i had on that uh and then we had update on contributions I don't know, Rafael, do you, did you have any updates on the Intel side? Where are we there? Is, are there any showstoppers or anything? Or, or I, I, I guess you, you mentioned the end of November, we could have something for the uh, plugin for unmanaged racks. Uh, are there any other updates? And you're on mute if you try to speak. I, I don't hear you. Is he <laughs> even here? He was here before. Oh, there he is. Rafael? Huh. Uh, Rafael, Alex. you're mute. Yeah, I think he might be. Uh, he may have stepped but, away for, for whatever. Yeah, perhaps he did, you know, get some coffee or something. Uh, um, okay, on our side, uh, Baras, do you have anything? Um, what, what are the features we're working on right now? And is there anything I personally, I just want to mention that I think we will upload the profiles and in, into it, just a, a separate branch, just so we can have discussions around them. They are not by any means ready. Uh, we, we, we've been running them on our side and we discovered some, some issues on our side, which is good. That's why you have profiles. <laughs> so we, we discovered some issues in Odem that we will address. But also, we we did uh, discover some issues with the tools. For instance, we had one, uh, we had a submit test event action as recommended, but uh, the submit test event properties that needs to be there, if if it exists, they were mandatory, and and the tool choked on that. So we might need to look at that. And there was some other couple of issues. As well, so we're logging some some things on the DMTF website or or the DMTF GitHub for those things, 
but I, I, I still want to upload the profiles even if they're not really allowing access to uh, anybody that is developing plugins as well as, as being able to have discussions around them. There might be properties in there that, that you guys discover that you feel should not be in there at all. There might be properties that you feel are missing. So, so we'll get that done uh, probably today or something. Um, Baraz, did you have anything more you wanted to mention about the current yeah, work so from HP? The main work is like, you know, we are uh, in, uh, close to finishing the connection method variants and types implementation because the uh, aggregation service uh, was made a standard later point right after we finished the aggregation so uh, original service implementation and uh, there have been a few issues which robert has uh, highlighted and uh, related to logging and uh, some stuff so those are mostly fixed and uh, mm -hmm. we are also getting the documentation updated on the github because there was some uh, you know internal issue with documentation we couldn't do it earlier so we are prioritizing that and uh, soon we'll have the documentation fully updated. Uh, this is regard to new new changes, including the connection method and stuff like that. But this is to this is to align with the current spec on the aggregation service, yes. right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, um, good. Yep. Is there anything else? Uh, there was this the discussion we had many weeks ago about moving from a Docker-based uh, CI/CD to a Kubernetes-based. Is is that still in flight, Bharat, or is it? Uh... Yeah, the the Kubernetes as such is uh, implemented, uh, but you know the CI/CD part is pending. So we want to finish that so that anybody can you know when they're um, merging code, you know, they can kick off the CI CD task with uh, which will deploy to a Kubernetes uh, cluster and test the uh, system. So CI CD uh, we have right now in the project is still using Docker, then, I guess. Yeah, in the open source, yes. Uh, so, I mean, the GitHub, yeah. Privately, we have uh, moving to Kubernetes. Uh, but So yeah. is there an issue for moving to Kubernetes logged in the project? And, and in such case, when do you think uh, we get there? Yeah, I think there was a issue already. Right? Uh, okay. I can't recollect it offhand, but yeah, it was there. Okay. Uh, and is that something we will get to uh, before the release? Uh, I mean, it, it's not necessarily for the for the release, but uh, it's good to have uh, a similar. I guess uh, approach. Yeah, uh, we're trying to f speed up that, like try to get it in early December or so. Okay. Best possible, yeah, best case. Yeah. Uh, anything else? No, that's it. Okay, is Rafael back? Yes, I was just away for a minute. What was yeah, the no question worries. you asked? No, yes. We, so we're just giving a little bit of updates on, on the contributions. And Bharat mentioned that we, we are working on the latest. You guys get some, gave some feedback on the aggregation service, and we're working on aligning that with the spec and fixing some issues. And then we talked yep. about the Kubernetes uh, uh, CI-CD move. Uh, and I just wanted to see if you had anything on the Intel side. Well, we we were looking at the deployment model, right? And based on Bharat, uh, let's say, advice, we just, you know, uh, added the deployment to the existing one. But I think it'd be good to, to move it to, uh, to Kubernetes-like and also dismantle, you know, all the services from single container, right? Oh, yeah. So you want them in different containers. Yeah. Yeah. On that on that thing, um, so so we did uh, run into an issue, and I, I raised it already yesterday. With uh, uh, you know, if you look uh, under the hood about him, it, it sort of is using um, uh, Go Micro, which is a framework that is using gRPC under the hood uh, to co do communication and things of that nature. And Go Micro's license has changed from version 3.0. We are using version I think 1. 
on that 94.3 or something. 14.3. 14 14.3. 14 14 Thank you very much. Yeah. And um, so, so it's, the license is changing from Apache to some sort of a commercial license. So long term, we certainly need to move away from Go Micro. And there has been different discussions going on. Rafael, has, uh, sorry, Barat has actually looked at this and, and come up with some uh, proposals. One proposal is DRPC to just use that across the board. And that will, in that case, also enable us to uh, be more of a modular stack and, and uh, being able to, to uh, communicate with uh, between, between microservices, or between modules. Everything doesn't need to be a microservice between modules in, in a good way and secure way. So that is something that uh, we, we need to tee up for a discussion uh, in the TSE proposal slot in the near future. It's, it's not something that is extremely urgent because Go Micro works and it has a, it has a version, but as, as time is, is passing, that version will be less and less up to date and, and obviously abandoned by the developers because they're moving into this commercial licensing on uh, nowadays, so so, and it's also an opportunity for us to get the architecture right in, in a way that that people feel is is a good way to allow for for more of a, a building block type of approach. Right? Any any thoughts? Okay, good. Yeah, that's going on at least. So, so Jonas, uh, uh, yeah. just just on the same note. So I I don't think that uh, uh, this you know. This module you just mentioned has uh, anything to do with the, let's say, containerization or Kubernetesization of the of the services, but in general the communication between them, right? Yes. Yes. Exactly. So even and, within and the very, Kubernetes, and very, and even very within likely. the. Okay, go ahead. Uh, go on. Oh, sorry. So even within Kubernetes, also we are using uh, Go Micro successfully. So if we replace it with any other thing like gRPC or Message Bus or HTTP. Uh, it would be the same, uh, you know, uh, that is Kubernetes version and the non-Kubernetes should be able to work. My point is that, you know, east-west communication between microservices or modules as we want to call them, gRPC is one of the first choices, of course, for, for the yeah. performance, but also subset of Redfish or REST itself would could be used. And this is like some yeah. debate so, to do. So the only thing, uh, the, the issue with the https the redfish and https is that you know with for east west communication uh, the performance would be uh, slower compared to grpc grpc is much more optimal right that's yes. as you said yes. yeah other than that the models can be used on both uh, whether we use https rest or uh, grpc and uh, grpc see already we have uh, since we are using go micro the proto file definitions are all in place Maybe we have to include the module models, you know, uh, in future. But uh, yeah, the other thing is that the gRPC seem to have a lot of the language bindings already in place. Uh, not ev all the languages, but I mean the most common one, like Python. I saw, I think I saw something. So it would allow, it will just make it more flexible for us. I think. So where yeah. are you using gRPC? Uh, currently, long uh, uh, John, sorry, uh, we are using Go Micro for uh, inter microservice uh, communication, mm -hmm. but uh, that internally uses gRPC. The problem with Go Micro is one thing, as uh, 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 Jonas said, that you know the license is an issue right now, going forward. Second thing is the bindings are only there for Go language. So what happens is if I want to plug in a microservice written in Python or some other language, I need to have a sidecar in Golang, which communicates in a different protocol with that microservice, right? Ah, okay, thank you. Yeah, so moving to gRPC will make it one level field for all languages or any pluggable uh, microservice. Of course, people can also say that the same thing can be done with uh, I say uh, uh, Kafka or uh, Nats or any other message buses, but gRPC is, you know, seems to be a better option. Well, the event but streaming is tricky, right? You need to be careful when you design the dependencies. Yeah, yeah. So G gRPC has a async uh, module, but I think it's uh, rather new, so I am not very sure of how it works. Remember, what we, remember what we have discussed before as well in terms of how things communicate, right? We had said that yeah. 
if we have an event based model that is um, which actually abstracts with an interface that actually abstracts the actual implementation of the transport. So if yes. you wanted to, you could substitute in different kinds of transports. But yeah, that, that that's how exactly Go Micro provides. With a little bit of work, we can I think uh, hopefully do that with uh, alternate implementations. Uh, but uh, GRPC, if you look into it, that has uh, I mean the need for okay, uh, that's an arguable thing, but. Uh, yeah, GRPC, since it has uh, the transport thing is it uses HTTPS, but I think uh, that is from GRPC to GRPC perspective. With a little bit of extra work, we should be able to support different transports. But yeah, it's not available off the shelf, as you say. So we are just, we are five minutes away from end of time uh, uh, for this meeting. I, I guess, Martin, we had this um, network-related events, uh, and but then also there was a request from uh, Muthu to, to discuss a little bit the composition service. So I do not know what you want to do. Do we want to hold off on the network-related event, Martin? Or is it, I mean, I know it was very short, so perhaps I just give it to you and you take it. Let me do, yeah, I'll do 30 seconds and then yeah. let's talk composition so um so that just for your information then there's two sets of um uh event registries that are being worked on within the dmtf um, one of them is for fabrics um, and these are kind of generic events like you know connection established connection removed or whatever so that'll apply to any fabric type including the ethernet one that we've specified um, and then the other one is for Ethernet fabrics, and that includes things like, um, you know, uh, link aggregation, for example. Um, so there's there's a number of properties that um, that you know that, that are part of that work. I'm very happy to send out the current uh, JSON to anybody interested. But there's uh, but anyway, it's it's kind of good to know that you know trying you know the, the the net result of this would be all about trying to standardize on how we how northbound client can receive events across any networking time uh martin yeah you can't send that out at the end of proprietary until we release it oh i'm sorry sorry about that yeah look I at that can't trust this guy huh. no i know <laughs> i believe I, in the free fall of information but that, that, I, that, that's why i need you on these calls john so um, yeah, so I can't send it out, but I'll be happy to discuss it. But if you if you call Martin, he can probably read it out loud, can he? No, no, no. Anyhow, um, good. That's Thanks right. for the update. Uh, now to move to, uh, for the composition service. You have very little time, but I, I please go yes. ahead, and then we carry carry on on, on in the next uh, proposal meeting. Yes, Jonas. Yeah, yes. Uh, based on the yesterday's discussion, we started exploring the red fish uh, like schemas, the whatever is currently released, and uh, we are uh, working, we started working on it. Uh, and uh, we agreed on like uh, it's a self uh, contained uh, service or something like that. Uh, for that, uh, we would like to uh, discuss on the like how uh, the composition service interacts with other uh, services like task service, the co compute service, because uh, as you all are aware that composition service is not like uh, it depends heavily on the other services like to get the compute resources and do actions on those resources, all these things on node composition and preparing the resource blocks and other details. I would like to have a discussion on that. Probably we can have that discussion in our next uh, yeah, like, uh, and proposal there, meeting. It... And the earlier discussion topic with GRPC will play into this because either we can go and develop something special with a sidecar for Go Micro, but as we know, it's going away. That would be a effort thrown away, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and also, uh, Mutu, maybe we should, uh, you could tell us, like, when you say uh, self-contained, right, uh, microservice, uh, what all do you anticipate you will or plan to implement if you get then? Yeah, this discussion was happened yesterday, so we need to like uh, and uh, like uh, define uh, what should 
we have and what should we can leverage from modem database whether where the composition service has direct access to the database or uh, all these communication channels uh, we need to understand those things but okay yeah and i think i think we can we can either set up a separate meeting um i also think that we have two ways of working together as far as asking questions and stuff without meetings and that is I, I would encourage Slack because it's much better uh, way of collaborating, but there is also the mailing list, obviously, because some of these questions might come up later when somebody else is doing something, and then uh, they can go back in the history and see what was decided and, and learn from that, right? Yeah. So it's better to have that type of discussion than sending private emails. It's just my guidance and, and thoughts around it, but yeah. Okay, Jonas. Yeah, that's it from my side for today. We are already running out of time. Yeah, sorry about that. No, let's, let's pick it up in the next proposal meeting. All right, guys, any, any final words? I'll, uh, Luis, do you have the recording for the proposal meeting so I can get the... The problem is I, I didn't take a lot of notes myself, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and send them over to you on Slack. Does that work for you? Okay, perfect. That works great like you did last time. Great. Yeah, I, I did want to mention, but we can save it for next meeting, and that is uh, there's been talk about the project um, potentially coming under the LFN umbrella, and I wanted to talk to you about a proposal document uh, if, if the community thinks we're – I mean, I think from a project, a community health perspective and a project perspective, we we can probably pass that gate if we if the community wanted to go in that direction, but let's go ahead and talk about it maybe next time. Yeah. I don't think we have any any showstoppers there now, Luis. Uh, but I think I there might think be so. different op yeah. opinions. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's yes. tee that up for the next TSC meeting as well. I'll, I'll I'll work on the agenda and stick it in the in the calendar for not next week but the week after. Oh, from from. Oh yeah, next. The one issue that I'd like to discuss in particular is the uh, the the focus of the community. Um, and how Linux uh, and whatever the umbrella we're going under would would enable that focus. Um, so we have said that we want enterprise and telco adoption. So I'd like to understand, Lewis, maybe how you see Linux uh, LF network or whatever the umbrella will be to how you see it playing towards uh, adoption across different uh, market segments, not just the telecom. Yeah, understood. Yeah, we, yeah we, we we can have somebody. We can have someone or several people from our market marketing team uh, talk to that. That would be as well great. as some of the yep, yeah, as well as some of the uh, cross uh, um, collaboration uh, efforts that the LFN uses. So, all of that I think is uh, is worthwhile. The only reason I mention it now is just in terms of due diligence. This is the kind of stuff we need to to talk about. Sure. Now. Could you could you get? Sorry, we are running late. Uh, Luis, could you get uh, some marketing guy in into that meeting as well? Then, do you think? Or so we? I, I yeah, can, I, I, I would. I, Thirty minutes for for, for the uh, release management stuff, and then we do the uh, uh, the rest for. For your uh, for for the LFN umbrella or somebody else, other umbrella organization. I guess the proposal would be the week after uh, next week, which is the holiday Thanksgiving yeah. week in the U.S. Right? Okay. Exactly. So it would potentially be uh, the second of December. Uh, I trust you, but uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very good. I'll see if I can get someone lined up for uh, December December second. Very good. Thanks, everybody. I need to jump, guys. Thank you very so much. Talk to you guys later. Yeah, bye. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you.